You're the Candace Owens of ESPN. Is what? <laughs> Wait, what? what I, where where did you read that? I forget. I mean, I forget where I read it, but I it made me laugh. <laughs> uh, wow. I I respect the hell out of Candace Owens. So do I. Of course, you guys do. Stop taking away our self confidence by telling us that we can't because of racism, because of slavery. I've never been a slave in this country. No, I don't need to, I'm not going to call you she, I'm not going to call you her, just because you're a grown man and you're wearing a wig and a dress. Well, what happens when you, uh, when you fill out your census? I'm like, well, I don't know when the last time I filled out my census was, but yeah. if they make you choose a race, yeah. she's like, what are you gonna put? I go, well, both. She's like, well, you can't. He goes, well, what if Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial? I'm like, well, congratulations to the president that's his thing. I, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. Wow. Just wow. ESPN Sage Steele has shown she welcomes being the mouthpiece of alt-right talking points. First things first, Sage. Crapping all over the dead is something a Candace Owens-like troll would do, so congrats. Barack Obama's father died in a car accident in 1982. She claims he wasn't around. The intentional wrongdoing of the 44th president is on another level. Former ESPN host Carrie Champion wrote on Twitter, this sigh, my dad wasn't around when I was younger. I'm still black. Second, it's no surprise Sage Steele thinks the census means nothing. Look, she's been an employee at ESPN for many years. She's made it and clearly through her own rhetoric does not care of its importance. I know I'm right mm -hmm. with this. Yeah. With diversity of thought being the most important thing. You know, she says this then. You're closeted. Like you, you, yeah. you cannot yeah. come out. Look at what's happening. What happened in California with, with Larry Elder and, and mm -hmm. how he is a, a black Republican, God yeah. forbid. Does this. See, this is what happens when there's no pushback. The election of Donald Trump in 2016, in my opinion, was divine intervention. Larry Elder is a Trump supporter. The idea that there's systemic racism against black people is a lie. Who thinks systemic racism does not exist and in his spare time mentored a white nationalist, Trump administration official Stephen Miller. Elder showed how misogynist he can be with this quote that, amongst other things, effectively tanked his campaign. Speaking of, Steele, speaking on women in sports, told Cutler on his podcast, when you dress like that, I'm not saying you deserve the gross comments, but you know what you're doing when you put that outfit on too. We know what we're doing when we put certain things on. Is it any shock Sage Owens is uttering this bullcrap? Absolutely not. It's what's ingrained in conservative circles. She probably bought into the notion of the Trump Access Hollywood tape being locker room talk. It's gross. Then the cherry on top. To mandate it is um, sick mm -hmm. and it's scary yeah. to me in many ways. You know what? You want to see what my face looked like when I had to do it? The mandate is what I really have an issue with. But I do know for me personally, I feel, I feel like defeated and it hurt. And I'm tough, but like yeah. she, I think she like put it in the muscle and was like, oh. You're getting this shot. It's getting to the point of flat out embarrassment how bad Sage Steele wants to be here. Yes, how terrible, Sage. You received a vaccination shot that will save your life, the lives of the elderly, the lives of the immunocompromised, and many more. How awful. I don't care yeah. because if you are attacking me because I'm different, mm -hmm. you are proving the yep. hypocrisy, and actually you don't want race relations better. You just want everybody to think like you. An interesting take, Sage. Considering per many former ESPN employees, including Keith Olbermann, Sage Steele has tried to blow up the careers of co-anchors and other co-workers. Mind of an assassin, no aim, always wounding herself. But this stuff, especially the Obama part, is intolerable, Olbermann said. They need to take her off the air immediately.